All right, guys, before we get into the video, let's talk about foottrading.co.uk. Every single method you see in my videos can be found over on the website with buying and selling prices for almost every single card on the game. £10 a month gets you access to tier one buying prices. That's icons, special cards, silvers, and Thursday flips. For £15 a month, you get access to tier two. That gives you live filters, gold chem styles, UCL cards, and our amazing area of fluctuations where the market is continually monitored for highs and lows. You guys are then notified when to buy low and buy and sell high, basically a really easy way to make coins. We've recently introduced a tier three, thanks to you guys asking for us to develop a bot, basically. We came up with a program and what it does is it pings you every single minute, pretty much. I think it's every three minutes. You will get pings telling you when cards are low and what to sell those cards for. I'm gonna show you an example of that now. I'll be right back. All right, guys, and this is the area of the Discord for tier three users. As you can see, it is pinging you guys with the current price of these cards and the live target sell price. You have to cross-reference that with what the sell price has been recently and use some of your own market knowledge, but this runs 24 hours a day to make sure you guys are getting continual deals that you can keep making coins from. The legitimate way, a new ping's just come up right there for new cards that you can go out right now, buy and sell. So check it out, get involved, foottrading.co.uk. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. Once again, make sure you check out Real Footy Prints. The link is down below. And if you use code Fuzzball40, you get 10% off your order. Thank you to everyone that has supported us in our new venture. It does mean a lot to us. It means everything to us, in fact, um, especially with everything that's gone on this year. You guys have basically kept me going, so thank you very much for that indeed. But... We are back on the old main account. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. The RTG account, I just started getting quite bored of it. It was the same thing over and over again. Um, and to trade up on that account was quite long-winded. And so I went back onto my old account. And I completely forgot that I had bought a load of fodder and stuff on this account. And I've had to sell a lot of it off and basically get back, get back to where we were before. Um, but what I want to do now towards the end of FIFA is just enjoy myself, trade, build a basically a ridiculous team like a god squad um, at the end of it. And so I'm going to use my account to do that and... I'm going to sort of take you guys along on that journey with me to do a few SPCs and bits and bobs um, and just sort of keep you updated as to what I am doing. Quick note in terms of what the team was looking like when we stopped on this account. Obviously, we had our Team of the Eleven Dovsky we packed. We had some few decent bits on this account, but nowhere near enough in terms of what I'd, I'd like. If we had stayed in this account by now, the team would be completely like, ridiculous. But we have got 4 million coins at the moment to spend um, on this account. In fact, 4.156 at the moment. But we have more than that because... As you can see here, we have got loads of Maratas we have sold today for 63,000 coins um, and some Martinez's that we have sold for 68,000 coins. Um, we bought these Martinez's, the two sold for 65, because it's gone down a little bit. We bought these Martinez's and the Maratas for in and around 50k maximum, really, uh, to make profit out of them. Now, every day at 6pm, we get supply of these, um, basically, Path to Glory players. And Maratta and um, Martinez are two of the ones that have held very, very cheap. And I want to just quickly show you why I always tend to buy these. I've bought them a few times now. Um, basically, across the... On Footman, you can do... Just type into Google, cheapest players by rating. And it gives you, basically, the prices of fodder. And, for example, 93 rated fodder at the moment. The cheapest you can get is, is outside of the other cards of Boo and Odd Black. at 69 and 71. Murata, at the moment, you can pick him up and sell him at something in the region of about 63k. But I'll show you what I picked these up for in a minute. And Martin, as again, is the cheapest 94 by a considerable distance at 68. Now, there's nothing on the game right now that makes it overly, overly required for fodder. We, we've got Ma Maradona and, and Henri yesterday, who are both okay. Nothing's really seen fodder fly, but you can't really make a loss when you're paying 50k, 49k, 50k, 48k, 47k for Maratas um, during the lightning rounds of the promo packs each day. You can't really make a loss on them. It's not impossible because that's the price of fodder that is normally about 91 rated, give or take. Um... And so you can't really make a, make, make a massive loss on it. So if we look at Maratta right now, he's currently sitting at, I think about 65 is what I saw a minute ago. I thought it was still a couple of 63s. Um, but he tends to drop quite heavily at times, there's a 63 there. Uh, and then bounce back quite quickly when we get supply. So I've been buying a few of these and flipping them on. And so I'm going to keep doing the same thing um, today. And I'm going to show you what we can make in, in, in a basically a full day's trading using this, basically. Just buying loads of these up when we get supply, letting them rise up again and making profit from them. We may buy some other fodder, but again, f like big heavy investments in fodder on this account are difficult to do because you end up with a lot of coins um, in there. Long term and short term, I'm thinking that basically what I want to do is obviously use that team of the Lewandowski that I've got. We want to ideally have him in the team and just build a god squad. I want to get maybe 
one of the top level icons. I'd always plan on getting like R9 or someone into the team. Um, so I want to be able to go and do that as well at some point. So we're going to build it up, do bits and bobs on it, maybe do some weekend league on it. And just grind out and actually sort of commit to this account. The RTG account, I'm torn as to what I do with, but potentially I might give it away to one of you guys. Um, I'm thinking that's the path that I might go down just because... I'm not be doing anything with it, and there's some very good players on there, and there's half a million coins sat in there, plus some other stuff. So I'm tempted to maybe give it away to, to you guys. I, I see how things go and what I decide to do in the long term. Uh, but that's sort of where we're at at the moment. I'm going to go ahead now, get these cards sold. I'll be back with you guys before 6 p.m. for buy-in. I'll see you then. All right, guys, a so slight change of plan. Um, so basically, from those sales, we've made about 360 to 400,000 coins of profit. There were still two Maratis to sell. Brozovic, I just picked up. I sent loads into my club. I got some fodder I just picked up. Um, but as you can see, Murata's up in price now. And what has happened is EA have gone and dropped an Icon SBC. Um, and it's a Brazilian, no, it's a French, Argentinian or Dutch um, Icon. Now, I do want to do that SBC um, in the long term for this, for this account. Why not? But I would much rather go and sell the fodder that I bought earlier on today. I bought one of each just to stick them in the club um, to see what they were doing. Just in case, because they were so low. Now, I'm a little bit gutted <laughs> that I've gone and sold my Maratas as cheap as I have. Um, oh, to be fair, actually, he's low in anyone. That's fine, we're good. Um, but those two Maratas I've got there, I think I might save and put into that SBC, potentially. Um, I sort of want to do that SBC. I'll show you it now. I sort of want to do it, but I also don't, because this is the, the SBC here. Um, it is a Primal Moments player pick. For an 85, an 86, an 88, and an 87. It's good. It is good. It's not It's not great value. It's okay value, but it is an icon pack all the same. Um, and it's for one of three players that are either Argentinian, French, or Holland. But it's a prime or moments. It should be a moments pick, in my opinion, by this point. Now, Argentina. I'll have a look at both of them. But Argentina, I'm pretty sure Maradona is only the real, the real big one there. Uh, FIFA 21 leagues. Let's go to icons. Outside of that, you've got the chance of Zanetti. You've got the chance of um, Veron, Vakelme, and Crespo. Like none of those are cards that I really care about at all. Um, in terms of France, obviously you've got a lot, a lot better uh, choices. So let's go popular France, which is there. So from France, you've got obviously Zidane himself, Cantona, who would be an amazing pull, Henri, who's still a very good pull. Um, Vieira, who's godly, but then you've got Pires, Desai, Makaleli, I've already got no one there that I'm that bothered about. And then obviously the big one, because of the two players that are in it that really everyone wants, is the Netherlands. Um obviously Hullet, Cruyff, they're the two big ones. But inside those you've also got Burkamp, Cliver, Seedorf, a lot of crap. And so for me, I'm like, is it really worth it? I doubt it's worth it. Um so I'm thinking instead of doing that, I might just do this 81. 85 plus player pick and sell the fodder I bought early on. I bought just one of each early one sticking in my club um, after I sold everything. So I sort of sod it. So what happens. And a lot of it has risen. Um, so like Guerrero's up at 6k now. I paid, I think, 4.5 for him early on. Uh, I was just checking him a minute ago. So a lot of that stuff can be sold instead. I will do the one of four 85 plus rated rare players and see what we get from this. To get a flavour for what the game is feeling like today. Um, but this is my point. Is my chance of getting anything good in the icon pack going to be that high? I don't think so personally. Um, to me, I just, I just don't really see a point in risking it on that when I could go and spend tomorrow trading and buying cards and send them off a profit to go and get myself a card that I actually want. As an example, I think this SPC is going to come in like 600k. For mid Hullet, who's one of the most usable cards in this game, is 2 million. I could go spend that 600k in a day and d double that to 1.2 million and then go that way. I am torn. I'm very, very torn. But what I think I'm going to do, and I'm pretty set in that, is sell the fodder I bought, try and get us up with a 5 million coin mark, and then decide from there what I'm going to be doing. But it's just basically setting up where we're at at the moment in terms of the account. Like I say, I eventually want to be buying someone like Kimmich maybe to link into uh, Lewandowski, Davies, at left back and, and a better centre back. And I want to improve the team and turn it into a God squad by the end of the game. Do I think the Icon SBC is going to turn my team into a God squad by the end of the game? Not really, if I'm being entirely honest. But I'll be right back once you've got the uh, fodder sold. I'll see you then. All right, guys. What I've actually decided to go and do is to play about with the nations and the icons that are being panic listed um, due to that SBC instead. Um, I just I can't justify the value of that SBC on this account. We'll do it on the 10 million account, but not on this account at the moment. Um, and we picked up some very good deals already. So this is probably the best one of the lot so far. Uh, Prime Memory at 412. Now, if I just show you, if I can get him up. Um, let me just see if I can get him up here. 
Where is he? Omri, Omri, Omri. There he is. Um, if I show you what he was selling for earlier today, so you can get a rough idea of it. So this is Omri there at 465. So I'll show you what he's selling for at the moment. Um, but yeah, 495. He still had a 495 and a 508 sale at 621 and 619 today. 480, 490, 500. So we're looking at probably 50 to 60,000 coins profit on him no matter what happens. Um, but I'm just keeping an eye on him because there are people listing him underneath that as well still. We've got a 465 there. Uh, that is listed that, but I think there's no reason why we can't get 500k. He is a um, fresh, we said two owners, but he is fresh, he's not been used yet. So I'm gonna list him up for 500k and we'll try and get 500k from fresh um, overnight. So if we get 500k for him, we'll lose 25k from it. So we're looking at about 60,000 coins plus profit after tax, uh, which is pretty decent indeed. I will take that. Desai is another one we picked up, paid 200k for him. Um, and again, if I can get him up, I don't know where he is, but let's go Desai. He was getting sales at 240 earlier today. Um, he might hold lower for longer because he's a centre back, he's not as in demand. Um, but in amongst the panic of what has been listed, he's um, been listed up. So you see a 240 sell at, two, at 689, a 268, a 270 at times, 253. Um, but it's weird that it says there there was a 240 sale 20 minutes ago because there's still a 215 sat here. So I don't know if that's like, he, that's quite a big undercut as well when I go and buy that one. I'm watching it because I'll pick it up a bit if I need to. Um, but again, this one here, I'm going to list up for 250. Um, see if we can get that for him. Do I want 250 in him? Do I want to go lower than that? I'll go 250. We'll see how it goes. Again, either way, today is uh, Monday. The market's quite low. The market shouldn't be up really until weekend league. So we'll try and get that for him. If we get lo less than that, it's not a problem. We're buying quite low. And then Coleman, he's had sales about 150, 160 today, um, even higher at times. I picked up one for 124. There's a 127 there. I'm leaving that there for now as a marker. So if anyone wants to underlist it, that's fine. There's a 118 there on bid as well. Um, so we'll list him up. We'll try and get 155 is probably going to be aimed for him. I don't know why I'm going so far past that. We'll try and get 155. We might not get that for him, but we'll, we'll try for it either way. Um, he is fresh as well, so we'll go for that. And all, all I've done outside of that is had stuff my transfer targets that I'm keeping an eye on as they sell. So we've got the, the, this story there. The Zanetti is off for 165. I don't want to remove that. Uh, Burkamp at 102. This Burkamp, I missed one at 90k. I think it might still be showing. It's not. I missed one at 90k, which is a bit jarring, but we've got one there as well that's on bid we're looking at. And this store here at 133 has just sold. So I know you're selling for in and around that. These are quite big undercuts from where they were early, earlier on today. But ideally, I want the deals like I've got with the Omri. I can't, I'm not going to pay more than that, basically. I want to make sure I'm getting the best deals possible. Just to make extra coins. If, if we come to sell the cards we've got there, we're looking at pushing towards 500k profit in a day, um, which is a really nice place to be. Um, there's a Veron there. Prime Veron at 81. Let's have a little look at Veron. That might go before I get a chance to look at it, but... I want to see what he's been selling for today to get a rough idea if, if that's a good deal or not. So 90 was the cheapest on the market before. So I'm going to buy that. If it's still there. So I'll show you why about that. Again, market sales history on him. He's had 93 sales, 92, 89s, uh, 95, 101. Before 6pm, I'm not sure what that is. 104. Um, he sort of tends, I, from a comfortable point I see himself for, is in and around the 95. So he gets 83 there, 99 there. So we should be able to get something like 90, I'll aim for 94 on him because that would give us nearly 10k profit on him, uh, which is which is fine by me, I'm not going to go on to that. So we'll go for that on him, which is solid. Um, and again, all I have to keep doing is just compare pricing on these cards and just seeing what pops and then checking the market sales history on Footbin uh, to see what they've sold for and what they're selling for. And keep an eye on what gets listed, something, some stuff might get listed like that um, Veron just then. If you have a look at like Crespo here, we've got a few on the bids, uh, nothing that, that interests me overly. And I will just keep flicking between the nations, just have a little look and see where they're at. Um, if I get anything ridiculous, I'll come back to you guys with that. If not, it'll be the morning when I sort of update you guys with what we're doing. Um, but we'll go from there. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So as I said to you plenty of times before, and I'll repeat it again, if it works, rinse and repeat. Um, obviously, we picked up the Omni at 412 earlier on. I'll be keeping an eye. There's a 440 there, um, and he hasn't gone yet, which is fine. We're in no rush, but I want that 408 on bid if I can get it. Um, but I know what he's been selling out. I've done my research. I've looked at it. Um, and these undercuts here don't make me panic because I know eventually he will rise back up again. And because of that, we picked him on bid at 401 and 416. Um, so we'll send both of those up to the transfer pile and we'll list them at like 495 and 490. Whether we're going to get that for him right away is is another matter. But because we've got so many coins in this account, we can play about either way um, and wait basically for stuff to sell. We're in no hurry to sell stuff. So until we can leave, these cards can be sold and I can leave myself some spare coins Um outside of this to basically go and make, I don't know why it makes so much longer for myself, to go and trade with other things as we go. So it's not too much of a problem. Just a couple of notes as well. Um, we sold, 
I think one of the Comans has gone already. The Coman and the Veron. That Veron we paid 81 for has gone for 94 already. Uh, and the Coman I paid 124, went for 140. Um, the fresh one I still got selling for over here for 155. This one here, I listed and did not realise he was fresh. So I'm hoping he doesn't go straight away because he'll go for more later in the week. But if he does, he does. I didn't realise he was fresh when I listed him. Um, two's on Etty's here, picked up 145 and 140. Uh, cheapest on the market, him now is 160, I think, something like that. And the Desai, he's starting to climb now. I think cheapest on the market is 240. So. Good in that in, in, in an event. They're, they're not bad at all. They're good buyers, all of them. Uh, but when you keep going and, and trading again, you might see me again now. It will be the next morning. But if I pick up any really good deals like those Omri's, I'll come back to you. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. It's a good morning. And we are back up 5 million coins. Um, all but two icons sold overnight. And we've made some massive profit on some of these cards. Uh, these Omri's at 495 and 490. Uh, we've got one that didn't sell at 500, but he's listed at 485 now to, to get him out. Um, but obviously we paid, I think 401 was it, for one of these Omri's. Um, so look at nearly 70,000 coins profit across the Omri's that we've got um, per Omri. So look at minimum 200,000 coins there. Um, the Sadoffs, I think one of them was 180, one of them was 190. Both sold at 230 and 250. And the Comans, obviously, we sold yesterday. Veron, we sold Desai, went for 250 in the end, uh, which is really nice. Veron, the Makalady, we paid 155 for, I think it was, 182. I might be wrong on that one, but I will, I will check it. Um, the other one sold as well, so we got one sold 94, 195. The Zanetti, again, I think we picked this up at 101, so for 127. I mean, outside of that, I've just been looking at things like the Bolivian cards. We've been picking these cards up um, on bids really cheap and flipping them off 7,500 coins. Um, and I'll give you a bit of advice if I can. If you guys are looking for low budget stuff right now, what I would be doing is looking at League SBCs uh, for like the Americas. Um, this is the Africa one and all you've got to do to see the expensive players is look at the total cost to complete the team So Bolivia here for example at 46.2 uh, I think Mexico are quite expensive as well at 22k Ecuador at 17.5k You can see these cards here and how cheap they are how expensive they are and you can get a lot of these cards quite cheaply on bid um, Ghana as well here quite expensive and you're looking towards the uh, and got Congo the silvers and, and, and uh, sort of higher rated bronzes sell more because uh, you've got to fulfill a a criteria in terms of the rating of a team um, in sort of sort of Europe. I think you guys know about Europe a lot. It's been talked about a lot. But Hungary, Finland, Slovakia are quite expensive. Uh, Ukraine are moderately expensive. Where's Slovakia? They're thirty six k to complete Slovakia. Um, and then again here, Saudi Arabia are quite expensive for the Asia SBC. This is actually quite a nice SBC. The Asia one. It's not too bad. A lot of this can be completed just by doing bronze like bronze pack grind, um, and you continue to get packs back and packs back, and then. You can sell the profit you make from these packs. I would guess, I'm not going to say it's definitely because I haven't done it, but I would guess that this SBC is very easy to make profit out of. It's 51k to complete it from scratch. Um, at the end of it, you get a very decent pack. I think it's a 45k pack. But if you just ground out bronze pack methods, sold everything that wasn't from Asia, you'd do very well, I think. I don't, I don't think you'd have very much trouble completing this relatively consistently. Um, and so it looks like a very good league SBC. But I'm going to keep selling stuff, waiting for stuff to sell. I think we're looking at about a million coins made in, in the space of 24 hours, which is fantastic. Um, I'm not interested in buying anything too much at the moment. I do want to see what the market does today. But I probably will um, I probably will look to maybe make some moves today on the market. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what I want to be going and doing just yet. But I'll look to make some moves either way. What I will say, though, is by not engaging with an SPC that I don't think is that good a value, it's not terrible value. And I've seen people pull in moments Cruyff, moments pull it from it. Um, but I've gone and done, I made about a million coins in 24 hours with this SBC here. There aren't that many players here that are worth more than a million coins other than the ridiculously big pools. I can just go and do this for another 24 hours and just go and buy myself whichever one of those players that I really wanted to pack from those packs. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm going to go and get myself a, a prime hullet or a moment's hullet on the market, but a mid hullet, which is not much, far, not very that far off of his, of his, of his prime, is about 2.2 .2 million on the market at the moment, possibly even cheaper because of this SBC. Um, and so... I'm, I'm not too stressed about it. If anything, I think I did the right thing by swerving it, um, if I, in all honesty. Um, but again, a million coins made. That's my Kimmich and my Alfonso Davies bought, for example, if I want to put those into the team. Um, or it's a higher-end player bought, De Jong, for example, that I sort of want to put in the team if I can. Um, so all in all, in a good place, in a very, very good place. But I'm going to yeah, keep selling stuff and I'll be back with you once it's sold. I'll see you then. All right, guys. And so we've changed. We've had a shower. We are in an England shirt. Same intro you're going to see in the BPM video I'm bringing out. Um, I'm opening as many bronze packs as I possibly can. Um, and the other Henri has sold now at 485, along with all the other bits and bobs that we've got. We're still waiting for the Coleman to go. I've just listed him up for a day now at 144, um, wherever he is. We'll check, we'll check. There he is. Um, so he should sell relatively easily at 144. We've sold him, obviously. You've seen it that. But that is basically a million coins in 24 hours once the Coleman sells. 
Um, that would be, I think, just over a million, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the point I always say to you guys, don't get sucked into doing SBCs that you don't really care about through FOMO. Um, because, put it bluntly, that Thierry Henry right there that some people would be happy with from their pack, um, you could go and buy that for half of what I've just made. His moments card, for example, it was all that expense to go out and do, or pack as part of this um, a part of this SBC. Again, a lot of people happy with a million coins. I just traded to him. I could go and buy this Henri. I stick in my team if I really wanted to uh, to improve it. But a million coins pays for two very good players. But we're going to keep going. And before I start buying players for the team, I'm going to keep improving the team, um, keep trading, so I can improve the team bit by bit. I leave myself more coins to play about with. I'm thinking the third edition might be mid Um I know a lot of people. Talk about the prime or the moments. The moments is obviously a very, very good card. I'm not doubting that whatsoever. But I don't think the gap between the moments and the prime compared to the mid is actually that big, if we're being entirely honest. So I'm thinking Hullet. A lot of people have said to me to forget about Hullet and go for De Jong um, or Goretzka. A lot of people say they're better than this this card. So let me know the sort of page you think I should be aiming for in this series and into this team. I do want to have some fun with it. And I want to start building this team ready for weekend league um, this weekend to be able to do maybe two or three weekend leagues with some absolutely brilliant players on my team. Uh, but if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notification is turned on so you never miss an upload. But 1 million coins, 24 hours. For now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.